Yep. Good evening. I'd like to call to order the meeting of the Board of Directors of Community Television of uh, January 28, 2019. Uh, would the Secretary please call the roll? Chair Ms. Harris. Here. Director Hall. Here. Director Rand. Here. Director Mannheim. Here. Director Laurent. Here. Director O'Driscoll. Here. Director Owen. Here. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, we're all here. Um, so we'll move on to oral communications. Is there anybody from the public um, who would like to address us today? Seeing none, we'll move on to item three, which is consideration of late additions to the agenda or any additions or deletions. Um, are there any from members of the board or staff? No, nope. seeing none. We can move on to the consent agenda, which is items four, five, and six, which are to approve the minutes of our last meeting from November of last year. Um, approve the November 2018 financial reports and to accept the December 2018 financial reports. Are there any comments uh, about these items? Yes, um, yes on um, item four, um, there's a correction that I need to make to item 13 on those minutes. Okay, so uh, shall we pull that from the consent agenda and make it item 6.5 on the regular agenda? Thank you. Um, any discussion about the uh, financial reports? Would the uh, chair of the finance committee like to make any comments? Not really this time. Um, Becca, I think, will bring up uh, some of the financial aspects in her report, so rather than duplicate those, we'll just defer to her. But uh, I'd like to make a motion we approve the consent agendas, uh, item 5 and item 6, the two financial reports for November and December. We have a motion. A uh, second? Second. Oh, that was a tie. Oh. <laughs> the secretary gets the call. Uh, I got call. Okay, you got it. <laughs> okay, we have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? It carries unanimously. Okay, so we can move on to uh, item 6.5, which is um, was item 4, to approve the minutes. What was the correction, Director? Uh, on um, item 13, the um, naming of the members of the Strategic Planning Committee, mm -hmm. there was an error there. It said Director Owen twice, and I think one of those, Director Owen, should be Director Mannheim. Okay. <laughs> I, will, I will correct that. Thank you. I felt <laughs> left out. I'm so sorry. Twice as much work for Director Owen. <laughs> Right, Although we're very Kayla. glad to have yeah. Tom Mannheim on no, the committee. He's doing a wonderful job. Oh, great. Thank and uh, just a, a teaser, we'll, we'll hear about what the committee has been uh, discussing later. Um, so any further discussion about the minutes from our last meeting? Um, seeing none, I'll entertain a motion Move to approval. with those uh, changes. Any uh, second? I'll uh, second that. All right. <laughs> All those in favor? Please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Carries unanimously unanimously all right so we can move on to item seven uh, which is the election of a board member uh, to a seat expiring November 2022 it is um, a seat that is uh, reserved for education and um, uh, it is to replace um, uh, Adam Wade's uh, it's Adam Wade's seat that he recently vacated and uh, the County Office of Education has sent over a, um, a very qualified in my opinion um, applicant. Her name is Jennifer Isent Gonzalez, and Jen is um, working at the County of Office of Education as an educator. Uh, I had to look up t what a TOSA is. It's a uh, teacher on special assignment. That's her current position, and um, in that position, she's developing and implementing professional de uh, development. Um, she is the accreditation accreditation. Did I say that right? coordinator for uh, 24 small alternative education schools throughout Santa Cruz mm -hmm. County. Um, she is the leadership team coordinator. She plans and facilitates uh, leadership team meetings. Um, and she is still keeping her fingers in the education, in the direct education game by uh, acting as an independent studies teacher, meeting weekly with students who have challenges to keep them from being successful in a traditional school uh, setting. Um, and she's a data co-lead. She develops surveys for students, parents, and staff. Um, and um, formerly, she worked for eight years um, as a teacher and as a mentor to UCSC psychology students interested in social work and education. Um, she is a doctoral candidate at San Jose State University for an educational doctorate degree. Um, she has numerous postgraduate trainings, including one in digital media. Um, and if that isn't enough, she has uh, two school-age boys that uh, 
that take up most of the rest of our time, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so, um, uh, and I'm happy to pass this around if anybody likes to see more details. Um, so, a motion, right? Yes, is there a motion to I'll approve I'll our... I'll move that we approve Jennifer Eisen Gonzalez as our newest board member. Do I have a second? Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Carries unanimously. Please, welcome. Come, come on and welcome to the board. <laughs> Keith has prepared right here. <laughs> very own placard. Looks like it's spelled correctly. Welcome. Yes, and excellent, excellent pronunciation of oh. my name, too. Oh, thank you. I wasn't sure if I should do the Castilian uh, pronunciation. <laughs> or the it's perfect. Spell. Well, welcome. Um, I, I'm sure that your many uh, qualities will be a, a great um, addition to our, our board. So. I'm excited to be here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. All right, so we can move on with our business. Um, uh, Director Hall pointed out uh, item number eight is the amendment to the 2019 board calendar. Um, Director Hall pointed out that uh, May 27th is a holiday. And Director Rand uh, suggested that we move the meeting um, up a week to the 20th. So uh, included in the packet is the exact same calendar with that one change. Um, is that agreeable to the board? Does anybody have any conflicts with that date that they know of? Any suggestions? No? Seeing none, so, um, I will entertain a motion. Do you want to just approve by acclamation, by consensus? Shall we do that? We can do it by consensus. Okay, consensus? Consensus. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, consensus. Okay. So um, I'll ask our IT director and chair emeritus um, Keith Gudger to update the calendar on the website to reflect that change. So that, that's item eight. Uh, moving on to item nine, which is the oral report of our executive director. Okay. Thank you. Thanks very much. Okay. So for um, this is a report that covers January and December, since we don't meet in December. So uh, we, we start with financials, and in um, we earn $13,600 in December in the co-working uh, part of the operation, which is really good. And uh, we expect to, um, we project we're going to be at 13000 in January as well. We did uh, government service, uh, we did government meeting services, so for the, um, during the holidays in December, we did only 10 meetings because there's not a lot of meetings. And in January, uh, we did 15 meetings. We have two new accounts that we'll be doing. We are going to record the Santa Cruz County Department meetings, uh, planning department meetings. And we are working with Scotts Valley um, to get their meetings on the channel. We have to do some transcoding. <laughs> To make that happen, but we're going to do the technical parts for them, and uh, and uh, so we'll be uh, charging them for that. So we have two. Uh, there's actually, and I think there's a third thing. Oh, um, the water uh, the water department, San Lorenzo Valley uh, Water District is adding another meeting. So they do one a month now, and they're going to move to two. Yes. Quick question: Is that the Santa Cruz City Planning Commission or Santa Cruz County Planning Commission? City. City. Okay. Sorry, I used the abbreviation. That's probably not very clear. <laughs> so um, yes, it's the city. So um, so that's great for us. That's new, uh, more uh, more revenue. We always like that. Uh, Victor is uh, for C. Now we've been doing some work for CMAP, and uh, Victor had been doing all their running their government meetings and doing the programming of the channels. And now um, we have a really competent and uh, resourceful. Uh, person in that role in um, in Gilroy. So Victor is transitioning out of the management of the government meetings uh, where uh, CMAP's able to manage them on their own and um, he is just developing the programming strategy for the channels. So then he will finish that eventually <coughs> and uh, CMAP will be all on its own. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, under staff, um, California has enacted a new law this year um, where employers of more than five 
employees have to provide sexual harassment training. It, up until now, it's been employers with, with more than 50 employees. So that's a big difference. And uh, so we're doing that. Uh, we sh everybody should be trained by February 19th. Uh, for equipment and facilities, for the building, the internet process uh, has begun to bring fiber to the building, but it seems to be taking longer than we expected. Um, when they used to send me this report with these little blocks, and we've done this, we've done this, we've done this, and we've been lingering at the end here. Uh, the last thing hasn't been done for a real long time, and it is requires a permit. And I think that part of it is the holidays, but I'm not sure. So I've asked for a report, and we'll see. Of course, you know, that's like, we'll send it. So I don't know what the um, what the meaning of this is, but... Um, is that Scruzio that you're... It's Comcast. Comcast. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll hopefully, as soon as I find out something, I'll let you all know. Um, in the building, uh, we did a little um, upgrade. We um, Our coordinator for the co-working center has been doing uh, First Fridays as a promotional effort, and so he, uh, we installed um, a gallery system around the top of the room to hang art. So it's, it's very cool. You can't see it normally, but uh, then these little hooky things kind of slide into a track and then you can hang hooks on them at any length. And so we have the Mosaic Artists of Santa Cruz County mm -hmm. um, this upcoming, uh, so it'll be November or uh, February, uh, the first Friday of February. And uh, we had somebody last, um, last month too. And so that will be two in a row. And uh, then we're also still, he's still also doing the Friday movie, the movie thing, so which is kind of fun. So um, this will be a, um, we're really excited to have that because it's kind of kept us from having any art in the, in the outside and, mm -hmm. and now be able to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also been working on a project and there's a committee for this, um, but I'm the only one on the committee that's here. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so I will just include this in my report. Um, most of the work has been done by uh, Keith Gudger. We, um, we are copying something called the One Button Studio, which is, um, and um, we're, we're playing around with a name called, um, that is RSVP, Really Simple Video Production. Ah. So um, what it is, is uh, you're able to go into this room and push one button and record yourself. So you can, it's all lit, there's the microphones ready to go, you can have a teleprompter if you want that you can run with your foot, and uh, there are several backgrounds to choose from. So the room is almost done. The last thing we have, we're doing is adding acoustic tiles to make the sound a little better. We've been waiting for our lights to be delivered and it is, it, we don't know what's happened. We feel like the company has deserted us, so we've ordered new lights mm -hmm. from another company. And then, um, I think those are the last, oh, and then the backdrops. Are, and the backdrops are on a, it's like four Venetian, like four blinds that you'd roll down, mm -hmm. like old fashioned shades that roll down, but they're automatic. So we have um, four different backgrounds and you just press a button and the one that you want comes down and mm -hmm. goes back up and the wall will be green. So we can do key things and we can do, we'll have a black one, a white one, one, one that's bricks and one that's wood. Mm -hmm. So we have just about everything. So what um, we have, what we, have a long list of ways you could use this, but someone mentioned to me recently that people are very interested in doing um, like video podcasts, and it's perfect for that. So it's very nice. It's all lit and mic'd and everything. You don't have to do anything. You just go in, you press the one button. If you have a PowerPoint, you can run that with your foot or the prompter with your foot, and uh, you can stop and start it with your foot. <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully tap dancers can apply. <laughs> foot loose, huh? Yes, it's, well, yeah, it's, if you're foot loose, you're in there. So uh, under uh, communications, um, Ian's been doing the first Friday events, and um, we, he's been doing this fun thing, and he'll do it on uh, the first Friday when we have the Mosaic Artists also in the studio, he does the Vive. So that's our uh, virtual reality setup, and so people can put on this big goggly thing, and they can be you know, in all kinds of places, and he has some fun new places for people to go. So he, he presented me about four ideas, I'm not sure which one he'll choose, but they were all fun experiences. So, and we're also adding, um, we have a lot of the Google Goggle kind of things, the Google, mm -hmm. what do they call it, Google Cardboard. So we're setting those out, and so while people are waiting to use the Vive, they can play with the Google Cardboard, and we have a list of fun places to go. So you can just put your iPhone in it, and, and um, it's really fun. <laughs> you, can, you can ride a roller coaster or, or um, fly over, the, over a city, or there's all kinds of fun things you can do while you wait. 
Um, let's see. Um, and that's it. That's my report for December and January. Thank you very much, Becca. You're so welcome. Um, oh, I do have, oh, sorry, I have two more things. Sorry, they're not on my report, but I want to let you know we're doing them. Breaking news. Um, yeah, yeah, this just in. We are um, doing a, a new sign for the front. So the big monument sign that's out there on the street, oh, uh, unreadable. So <laughs> we are, uh, we're fixing that. We've got, we've got a design. We just have to, uh, we're just doing some extra things to it. So what we want to do is the sign is square and our, our uh, logo is a rectangle. Mm. So we're figuring out a way to cover, to, to, well, what we've done is we've made a new design so that the bottom uh, will feature CTV. Mm. So we're going to paint it mm. a different color and CTV's logo can be in there. Uh, we feel like it's, we're good to go on that. So yeah. we're going to go ahead and start showcasing that. And uh, we're going to do signs on the top of the building across and on this end. So right now there are banners there, but we're mm. going to do real signs. So we're going to have them painted and um, do them the right way. And then we're going to paint the the sign now, the big one has a black box around it and it's a white sign and we're thinking of reversing the colors out so the sign is green and the letters are white. So we think we can attract a lot more attention with that. So those are our two, um, two building things we're doing that are not in the report, but now you know. Just one thing, uh, Becca didn't point out that the, uh, on the financing is we're past the break even point. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, way past. That's I, what's important. So yeah, I, I thought you guys all knew that. that. Break even that. is 10,000 and we're at three and a, 13 and a half. So we're doing well. In fact, so. we're 25% ahead of yeah. what we projected. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, fantastic. Yeah. Halfway, yeah. halfway through the year. <laughs> Good call, Joe. I figure everybody knows the 10,000 number, but probably not. <laughs> um, I had one idea. Um, maybe we can do as a virtual reality um, director, like we can do a, like a VR, like so you can be directing a show at community television oh, that with your fun. Google goggles on. Yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> Uh, Especially the board meetings. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Way more interesting. Yeah. It's much more interesting in 3D. Right, definitely, definitely. And then, um, um, oh, are we going to, when we finish the One Button Studio, are we planning any sort of like grand opening, maybe in conjunction with First Friday, where people can go in and, and record and a thing? Try, try it out? Uh, yeah, we're probably going to do, we're going to approach. Um, uh, our nonprofit partners because yeah. first because they can do their own little PSAs in it. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put together a package for business so that most businesses have a website and videos are really, um, and there's like some great, it's a really great statistic that I don't have off the top of my head, but it's something like 68% of the people who watch a video on your website buy. Mm -hmm. And so it's a really valuable thing to have videos on your website. And we have a little presentation in there too, a table, so you could show a product if you wanted oh, nice. and talk about it or a process or, you know, anything. And so, um, yeah, we have, we have plans. We haven't launched them yet. <coughs> That's our idea. First things first. Mm -hmm. right, well, thank you. That sounds great. Uh, any other questions or comments? No? Okay, well let's move on to uh, item number 10, which is the report from the Ad Hoc Strategic Planning Committee, um, which just had their first meeting, and I understand Director O'Driscoll has a presentation from that. Um, yes, I've been meeting with the, peop uh, the important people at the library who might be interested in working out, exploring a partnership with CTV. And so um, after talking to several people, I've settled on our marketing team. And our marketing team um, is the group that um, publicizes all of the things that we're doing, the services and the programs we're offering. And um, they have a tremendous need to document what the library is doing. And so they can see some potential in, um, in working with CTV. And then the other group that would like to be involved in a meeting is our um, training group. And the training group does a couple of things. They teach um, classes to both staff and the community on the use of various devices that anyone would use, including um, film and that sort of thing. We have a virtual reality project and they conduct um, workshops and things with that. They um, so they are very interested in seeing what kind of a partnership um, we can have. One of one of our staff members actually uh, ran a, a film project in a San Jose school, so he has some experience um, with that part. So now 
imagine um, all the people that we might be talking about, and I managed to find out that it's possible to meet on an early Monday afternoon. So now all I have to do is find the right Monday afternoon, which will be, who knows how long that will take. But um, uh, I'm very encouraged, but they're very interested, and um, so I hope to have something really exciting to report to you soon. Great, thank you, Janice. Mm -hmm. um, so that was uh, the, uh, from the library's uh, subcommittee from the board retreat. Right. Uh, yes, so that was uh, on item 11. Um, did we have a report from the ad hoc strategic? I can right. okay. give you a little bit of that. Yeah. So um, we did meet uh, last Friday. Just a reminder for everybody, um, it's uh, Director Rand and myself and Director Owen. Twice. <laughs> You're right, <laughs> Director Owen twice. Um, as well as... Um, I was absent, my apologies. So, oh, so Maitreya will be there next time. I will. That's right. Um, and uh, Nathan Benjamin, who's a former director, as well as Keith Cutter, who's a, <laughs> a former director now, um, and Becca as well. Um, it was a really good meeting. We spent an hour, we, we did some visioning where we really talked about needing to create a clear vision for where we want to be, as well as sort of what we can realistically accomplish. Um, and we focused in on three areas, um, strengthening the organization and so that uh, we're not only self-sustaining but growing. And um, we started diving down into what some of the pieces under that might be. Um, empowering technology use in the community and then strengthening community engagement. Um, and, and we again dove down into some of, some of the more specifics around that. Um, rather than trying to get into too much detail now, at some point we'll be coming back to the board with all of the details, but we've set a fairly aggressive schedule of meeting. We're going to be meeting every two weeks through the end of April, mm -hmm. so that hopefully by the end of April, perhaps at our, our May meeting, we'll be able to come back to you with a full report and a plan. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Um, <coughs> do we have any... Um, other reports from the board of sheet subcommittees that anybody wants well, to? Of course, the, the one button is no, already yes, reported, yeah, was reported on. on yes. Maybe the, the one the venues. The venues. We had a very good meeting last year with the Kowumba, but I don't know that we have followed up yet. Well, I think the to holidays. The holidays. Yes. I, we got exchanged a couple emails, mm -hmm. but I think um, I followed up with them just the other day. Oh, and I got an email back. I saw it today, but I didn't read it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so so they we're talking. All okay. right. And we need to talk about who's going to actually come up with the, the proposal for them, to, which I, I kind of volunteered to do it, but I have not. Well, uh, what we're doing first is their original proposal. I see. So we've got time to do the other, the second list. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I ran into Jack from uh, uh, Lyman Nelson just the other day and, oh. and oh. Uh, mentioned, you know, we had an informal meeting I mentioned. Uh, and he's like, I don't know where we left on, on that. I said, well, last time, last time we spoke, you had already submitted your uh, budget for the year, and we were going to talk next. He said, well, this year I've got to cut 4% from my budget, so I don't think it's going to. So unless we know somebody uh, uh, further up uh, in Parks and Rec who can uh, see the need for uh, putting permanent video installation into the uh, Lauren Nelson, we, we may have to. Uh, hmm. But uh, if he has to cut 4%, what we could do for them would we allow them to go forward while not spending all that the money that they don't have. Right. Well, so <laughs> so maybe uh, maybe it's worth a follow up. Yeah. To, uh, I think we could help them in that case. Right. Right. Okay. Well, uh, maybe we can follow up and uh, and I, I still have ideas for other venues. I'm not sure if we want to focus on just mm -hmm. a few to start with and then uh, yeah. and then branch out to the others. But uh, we have our list and we can work our way down. Great. Um, okay. So um, we can move on to item. 12, if there's nothing else, um, which is the oral report of the Volunteer Advisory Committee, or, or the VAC for, for Jen. Um, and our committee chair is uh, Matilda. Excuse me. Um, so this month, I don't have a lot to report because, you know, of the holidays. But uh, based on, we had an idea that based on that we're all doing a strategic plan, that we would like to hear from our producers and the directors and people who are using, you know, the facilities to do to do public access TV, 
And so we have uh, set, the VAC has set uh, February 23rd at noon, uh, a meeting which is basically a hearing for all people who want to say something about what strategically would help to bring the community uh, programs and better programs as well as getting more involvement. So and then we would then uh, report back to the uh, strategic planning committee and probably we'll get some direction from them about things to ask. And so we're planning that, um, and we hope that the producers, directors, and camera people, and other people that are really, you know, really interested in moving us forward. And that's really what I have for this month, because it, I think it's important. <coughs> Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you. Um, any questions regarding that or comments? No? Well, she did leave out, but there is one other project she's Oops. been working on that's going to have a ribbon cutting. Why don't you give a little shout out to what you've been doing in your other life? Oh, okay. Well, it has nothing to do with, except for its community, uh, community radio. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to have a ribbon cutting for KSQD, the uh, community radio, uh, that we're about 90 people, uh, volunteer programmers, are putting on uh, lots of shows and talk programs. And uh, you know, we hope that people listen to 90.7 FM. There's a uh, little music and, and little snippets of different programs and station IDs. And uh, it's gonna be really exciting. I mean, we're so, so you know. When, when was that date? Uh, well, it's not, okay. because it's going to be at the County Office of Education and they said they would have like 50 places, so I'm already full for the ribbon cutting. Uh, so it's not like okay. I want to advertise it and <laughs> come because th there wouldn't be you know, space. But it is, thank you for, for, for bringing it out. And I know you've been a great supporter of it, and other people have asked me about it too. So, yeah, we're very excited. See, reason it goes with this agenda for anybody that's worried about it is the word volunteer. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Volunteer. Absolutely. Absolutely. All for the community. No, I mean, it's nice. I, I, I hope at some point, you know, when when a KSQD or the community radio is, is stronger and, you know, has has something under its belt, that will strengthen. And it, f it fits mm -hmm. our strategic plan, you know, have more community connection and partnerships mm -hmm. with community TV. Well, and we've community talked to them about that. And mm -hmm. you've talked about it with us. And, and uh, you know, we just have to get now feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we can leap forward. <laughs> All right, here's to some new beginnings. Um, fantastic. All right, so that brings us to item 13, the oral report, oral report of the board chair, which would be me. I don't have much. I've been kind of learning the ropes. Um, I must thank Keith Gadger for helping me with uh, my first uh, agenda creation. Um, he was very helpful, and thank you. And um, and of course our secretary and. Um, I did, uh, um, we got a request through the community TV contact page for somebody to cover the um, researchers anonymous meeting at the Museum of Art and History on February 9th from 11 to 1, which will be honoring Peter McGettigan, a long term, long time community television uh, member and employee. And um, even though we don't really cover events, I volunteered to do that because he was a friend and mentor of mine. And um, they asked if somebody from community TV would be interested in saying something about his contributions, and, and Joe um, graciously accepted that. And so um, we'll be there February 9th uh, from 11 to 1, if anybody would like to, uh, to, to join. Um, Peter's sister Martha, who is also a historian in her own right, will be uh, speaking about Peter and the Vallejo chest. They're actually um, descended from the Vallejo family, uh, which the town is named after. Um, so they're, um, historic California family. So um, even if you didn't know Peter, it might be an interesting event to, uh, to attend. Um, and I think that's about it for me on uh, my oral report. So uh, we can move on to item 14, which is board member or staff requests for specific items to appear on the next meeting agenda. Are there any? No, seeing none. Um, we can move on to announcements. Thank you very much, Matilda. Um, uh, do any board members have any announcements besides? Okay, so um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our volunteer crew here today. Um, and that would be Linda Janakis. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. Whoa. 
So you can stay tuned for something always exciting happens. Right on schedule. Watch the end. Um, is everybody okay? Yes, we're right. alive and well. Just remind anybody of a 60-minute interview with Bill Bill Hillary no, 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 uh, no board members were harmed in the making of this program. <laughs> We'd like to thank Linda Janakis, <clears throat> Keith Gudger, Sherry Ross, Phil Harmonic, Nick Kirkendall, and Gene Kratzer for um, producing this meeting. Um, and with that, I will entertain a motion for adjournment. I'll move that we adjourn. All right. And a second, second. for that? Second. All, right, okay. um, all those in favor? Please Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.